Welcome back to Star or Shovelware, my name's Luke and today I'm bringing you another asset flip warning video, this time for a game called Galactic Invasion. Now if you're a fan of shmups then the Nintendo Switch has a fantastic selection of titles on offer and if you're watching this video it's likely that you're tempted to pick up Galactic Invasion, especially considering its low asking price. Before you do though, you should first take note that this particular game has been published and developed by Pixarts, one of the biggest asset flippers on the platform, and once again they've been up to their old tricks, but there's actually an extra little nugget of tastiness to this one, and we'll get onto why that is shortly. Also, if you're not familiar with what exactly an asset flip is, then you can check out the video in the description box below where I cover off everything you need to know about them, and about the growing issue of asset flips on the Nintendo Switch. So the eShop listing of Galactic Invasion gives us the usual bollocks with a bare bones bullshit description which fails to provide any real details about the game and the three screenshots do nothing to expand on the description other than confirming the fact that Galactic Invasion is indeed a shoot 'em up. What they do however provide is a way for me to identify the assets that we use to create the game and this being a Pixar title it didn't take me long to identify the asset as being Shmup Boss, a complete shoot em up game creation tool available on the Uni Asset Store for 52 euros. Now Shmup Boss has everything you need to create your own side scrolling or vertical shoot em up including mobile and desktop support, full game menus and user interfaces, upgrades, pickups, bosses and enemy spawning options, basically the whole shebang, meaning your creativity is your only limit. If you've watched any of these videos before though, you'll know that creativity is not one of Pixar's strong points, and they much prefer to use the base assets and demo levels which come preloaded with the asset, which is undoubtedly what they've done with Galactic Invasion. Now where things get a little bit spicy with this one is when it comes to the actual asset that they've used to create the game. When comparing the eShop screenshots against the Schmuck Boss asset, you can see that we most certainly have matching models used for the player and enemy ships, but what you will notice is that both the background image and user interfaces are different. Now for a split second I thought that maybe, just maybe, Pixarts actually did some kind of development on the game, but after doing a little bit more research on this one, I found that this wasn't the case at all. You see, prior to publishing the Shmup Boss asset, its creators Ebal Studios had actually developed another Shmup creator called Shmup Baby, and taking a look at the YouTube trailer for the asset, we can see that the UI and level design in this asset match the screenshots for Galactic Invasion. If we ignore the dynamic floating space debris, we can also identify two points in the video whose frames are pretty much identical to two of the eShop screenshots, and this confirms to me that the asset's demo level has been used at some point in the creation of the game, but this isn't the only interesting discovery that I made. While performing my usual searches, I found out that the Shmup Baby asset could only actually be obtained from sites such as Unity Assets for Free and Unity Freaks, sites which distribute paid Unity Assets for free, and this was because Shmup Baby was superseded by Shmup Boss back in January of this year. After getting in touch with the Shmup Boss development team, they also confirmed that this was the case, and they also told me that they'd only ever sold their toolkit on the official Unity Assets store, and that the aforementioned sites were actually giving away stolen assets for free. Now, this discovery may confirm a suspicion that I've had for quite some time now, because Pixar's produce a lot of games using assets which aren't exactly the cheapest, and in this particular instance, they've either bought the asset back in January and then held onto it for 10 months before releasing a game with it, or they obtained it recently via, shall we say, other less legitimate means. But I'll let you guys be the judge of that one. Now as with nearly everything that Pixar develops, it's likely that very little work has actually gone into producing Galactic Invasion, it undoubtedly uses nothing but Shmup Baby's assets, and even the thumbnail for the game shows a lack of creativeness, with a couple of ships taken from the asset pack set to a backdrop created using a free desktop wallpaper. While I admit there wasn't much evidence to prove that Galactic Invasion is a straight up asset flip, I'd highly recommend steering clear of anything that Pixar's produces, and if you want to know more about them and why I advise against buying their so called games, then you can check out my video on them which I've also linked down below, along with a spreadsheet containing every Switch asset flip that I've identified so far. So as always, I hope that you found this video as interesting as I found doing the research for it. 
I'll no doubt be back with another asset flip warning video very soon and I've already got an interesting video planned for this weekend so make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with my latest asset flip videos as well as reviews of actual Nintendo Switch games. For now though I want to thank you all once again for watching and until next time take care of yourselves and game on.